This is the all new 700 series. The 700 series comes in everything from very compact models of loudspeaker, easy to fit into bookshelves and small spaces, all the way up to very substantial floor standards that can fill even the biggest room with ease. This very elegant range of finishes that produces altogether one of the most comprehensive offerings that we have, beginning with this one, the 707 S3. As you can see, it's the most compact model of the lot. It's designed to be suitable for use both on bookshelves and, if you prefer, on the optional accompanying floor stand. Now, 707 S3 may be small, but it's still a very high-performance loudspeaker indeed. It features the latest iteration of our high-performance 25mm carbon dome tweeter, coupled to a 130mm or 5-inch continuum cone mid-base drive unit. If you require a similar kind of form factor, but a higher performance, you step up to this. This is the 706 S3, and as you can see, it's the same kind of configuration with the tweeter mounted in the baffle, but instead we've got a larger cabinet, and that larger cabinet's there to accommodate a larger mid-base cone. We have a 165 millimeter, or six and a half inch, continuum mid-base cone, which gives us a bigger sound with greater bass extension, and as a result, even more scale suitable for use in larger rooms. Finally, the 705 S3, and as you can see, it's the first model in the 700 series to incorporate that iconic tweeter on top technology, as of course developed originally for use in some of our most famous flagship loudspeaker models. In this particular iteration, again, it's a solid body tweeter design, in other words, milled from a single piece of aluminium, giving it exceptional stiffness alongside that fantastic acoustic form. What that means is even better resolution, insight and detail into all that crucial high frequency audio. Joining it is the same 165 mm or 6.5 inch mid-base cone as we use in the 706. The combination of the two is essentially a more affordable perspective on an 805D4, a very high performance loudspeaker that's easy still to both afford and to fit into your home. Both models, as quite substantial stand mount designs, should of course be used with an accompanying floor stand. And we have a new model here too to go alongside them, the FS700 S3, with both improved acoustic performance and, as you can see, improved aesthetics. Let's move on to our floor standing loudspeakers and beginning with this one, the 704 S3. Of course, a floor standing loudspeaker offers additional bass extension by virtue of having dedicated bass driving units, and that means it's able to fill a larger room more easily with sound. At the same time, of course, with 704 S3, as you can see, you still get a very elegant and compact design that's easy to fit into a wide variety of spaces. 704 S3 is based around a pair of 130 millimeter or five inch base cones complemented by a 130 millimeter or five inch FST mid-range cone decoupled inside the enclosure. And that's joined by a 25 millimeter carbon dome tweeter. If you step up from there, perhaps because you require an even larger sound for a bigger room, the next model up is this one. This is the 703 S3. And as you can see, it's a larger cabinet enabled with six and a half inch base cones and a six inch FST mid-range drive unit. And of course those bigger drive units give it a larger scale of sound. One exciting change is the introduction of a new configuration in 703 S3. For the first time, it moves to adopt the iconic Bowers and Wilkins tweet on top configuration. Finally, there's the flagship model in the range, which is this one over here. This is the 702 S3. And as you can see, it brings together all of the technologies that we've discussed so far. So, of course, it's a tweeter on top design, as befits a flagship. It's also equipped with that six inch FST continuum mid-range cone. Of course, it also has a third dedicated six and a half inch or 165 millimeter aerofoil profile base driver. And that means the most powerful, fullest sound with the deepest bass of any model in the 700 series range. There's a new configuration change for 702 S3 as well. For the first time, it introduces a downward firing port, and that means this very powerful loudspeaker is still quite easy to accommodate into smaller rooms and spaces by virtue of that port configuration, which is less likely to interact with adjacent walls or boundaries. 
The next thing we're going to talk about are our two brand new center channel loudspeakers, the smallest of which is this. This is the HDM72 S3. As you can see, it's got a pair of five inch mid bass continuum cones flanking a single 25 millimeter carbon dome tweeter. That makes it the perfect match for the smaller loudspeakers in the new 700 series range. A larger center channel model, the HDM71 S3, offers a significant performance step up for the first time. We've got a tweeter on top configuration using the exact same tweeter on top as you'd find in, for example, a 702 S3. That's joined by a 5 inch FST mid range cone and a pair of 5 inch bass cones, creating a very powerful sounding center speaker that's able to fill even the biggest rooms with ease. We're going to begin with one of the most significant, the introduction of a revised cabinet shape. The first thing you'll notice is that it's even slimmer and more elegant than before, making it even easier to fit into any space in your home. Alongside that, there's a new cabinet feature, a subtle curve to the front, which both makes the loudspeaker look more premium and improves acoustic performance, especially when it's partnered with this rather lovely pod that brings the drive unit forward of the front of the cabinet. On baffle mounted tweeters like the 707, we've got a new form of tweeter grille mesh which improves the openness and the spaciousness. And if you to move around the back of the loudspeaker, there's a new set of terminals which have been greatly updated both in terms of how they look and also how they perform. If you step up to a larger cabinet like this 702, of course, the same thing applies. That curved cabinet at the front with the drive units in pods. This being a floor stander, there's also the addition of a plinth. A new feature in the latest generation of 700 series is the plinth is now a mandatory fix. However, we've improved both the form of the plinth to make it more attractive and the mechanical behavior of the plinth to upgrade the acoustic performance. That's especially true in this flagship model, the 702, because of course the port exits downwards over the top of the plinth. At the top of this particular loudspeaker, we've also got another significant feature, that tweet on top design. And as you'll see, we've introduced a new form. It's based on and inspired by the shape that we introduced last year in our 800 series diamond with an elongated tweet on top form for better performance. It's available both in the dark anodized finish that you can see here, which you'd see across darker loudspeaker cabinets, and a light bright metal anodized finish you'd see on our white cabinets. Speaking of finishes overall, we've got four. The black with gloss back and dark detailing as you can see here, a white with bright metal detailing, an all new mocha wood finish, which we're very proud of with beautiful wood figuring, and our classic Bowers and Wilkins roaster. We've changed the tweeter grill mesh and we've also made significant improvements, including a brand new vented voice coil, a new motor system, and an elongated Nautilus tube loading system, which has the benefit of allowing the drive unit to breathe more freely, and meaning in turn it integrates better with the drive units around it. Moving on to tweeter on top forms, and as you can see, there's a brand new tweeter on top shape, and that's joined by a two-point decoupling system, which again, greatly helps the sense of isolation of the high frequency. Moving back to mid bass cones, of course, we're maintaining our iconic continuum cone, but even in the latest generation of 700 series, we've worked to try and improve it with updated chassis and improved motor systems. In dedicated mid-range loudspeakers, which of course are fitted to all the floor standing models, we've gone one stage further by introducing our brand new biomimetic suspension system as introduced last year in 800 series diamond, and that has the effect of greatly improving the unwanted noise coming from the Spider, the conventional suspension system that loudspeakers typically use. You'll notice that immediately in greater transparency and openness through the mid-range. That's joined by an improved decoupling system, a revised chassis, upgraded motor, and many other changes, which overall mean this is the best mid-range performance we've yet achieved from a 700 series loudspeaker. On three-way models, of course, we also have dedicated base drive units. The Aerofoil Profile Cone, introduced a few years ago in the last generation of 700 series, is carried forward. But again, everything behind that cone has been upgraded and improved, including new chassis and new motor systems. Moving to the flagship loudspeaker over here, the 702, of course, this brings together all of those elements into one speaker. So it has that curved front, it has those drive units mounted forward in pods, it has the tweeter on top with its two-point decoupling system, and of course, all those drive unit technologies that we've just discussed. 
Like every other model, it also has an improved crossover assembly, again inspired by the developments recently introduced in both 800 series Diamond and 700 series Signature. Now this being a floor standing model, it also has a dedicated plinth. We have improved spikes, stainless steel M6 versions on smaller speakers, stainless steel M10 versions on this 702, and of course this version also has that downward firing port, giving it that larger, freer sound, and at the same time, less concern about where you place it in the room to get the optimum result.